guys, Remy here and I'm back with a new haul video. Um, during lockdown I have been buying quite a few records and just a little bit of a quick catch up. So let's get started. So I've added more to my small monkeys collection because if you've seen my previous video then you would have known that I have got Headquarters and Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn and Jones and they're still like my two favourite monkeys albums. But I've recently added more of the monkeys and the birds, the bees and the monkeys. So quite a few of the tracks from this album are heard a lot on the show. Um, for example, I'm Not Your Stepping Stone, which is my favourite track of this album, uh, Your Auntie Griselda, and of course I'm a Believer. Um, so it's a good album and then the um, deeper cuts are quite cool too. And then The Birds, The Bees and The Monkeys. I didn't enjoy this album a whole lot. Um, not many of the tracks on here do appear on the show because it was made a little bit later. But my favorite track is probably Valerie. I just wish it was the original version of Valerie because the original version of Valerie was recorded in 1966 and it involves a lot more harmonies, like during the words, during the chorus. And it sounds really, really cool, like the three different harmonies going on at the same time. And it's structured a bit differently. There's a new version of Valerie. It's mostly just double tracked um, of Davy's vocals and there's not a lot of harmony. And I'm a real harmony girl, so it's a bit disappointing. I know why they had to re-record it, but um, it's just annoying. But still, Valerie's a great track. I love Period Box 9847, it's so funky and mystical and cool, like really cool instrumentation on here. Um, plus Saw and Zam is very cool to listen to and Daydream Believer is just great. It's sad though because I know that um, a few of their albums involve more session musicians rather than the band itself. I know Headquarters was a very band heavy album and um, but yeah, for some reason, after Headquarters, they kind of reverted slightly back towards session musicians, which is a shame because, like, especially Peter Talk, who was very, very, like, a really, really good musician, his only contribution to this entire album, and I looked this up, was the piano for Daydream Believer, and that's it. He doesn't sing on this and he doesn't play any other instruments and I think that's a real shame because he's a great singer, he definitely should have been used more and they just don't use him for his incredible banjo skills, guitar, piano, why? Um, I don't know what happened but this, this was the same year that he left so I suppose things weren't going amazingly behind the scenes as they were a few years prior. Let's move on to a little bit of Wings, my Wings collection has been growing a lot um, so first, we've got Red Rose Speedway, which is my most recent Wings purchase. Um, my favourite track is, is probably um, Big Barn Bed and um, My Love, because that's just such a gorgeous song. Big Barn Bed's really fun. My Love is um, so sweet and romantic. And the rest, the rest of the tracks are really good too, but you know how sometimes it takes you a few times to, like, to listen to an album? and then you start remembering all the tracks. That's how I feel with this. I do enjoy it, um, but I need to listen to it a few more times. I just haven't had a lot of time recently. For the bonus audio for this version of the album, it has Mary Had a Little Lamb, Little Woman Love, High High High, Sea Moon, Live and Let Die, which is, I'm so happy, um, I Lie Around, and then the B side is Thank you, darling. 1882 live in Berlin. The mess live at the Hague. Just Street. Live and let die. Group only. Take ten. Then I've got Venus and Mars. It's just the standard album, standard reissue, and it's great. I love that the tracks all like it's like gapless, so the songs all transition into each other. Kind of just gives me Abbey Road medley vibes. Um, I love the song Venus and Mars and the reprise, it's probably my favourite track, um, just Venus and Mars in general. Rock Show's fun, Love and Song is really cool, um, Spirits of Ancient Egypt is cool, and yeah, the other tracks are nice to hear as well, but yeah, I'm really getting into a bit more of Wings. Then I got 
this 45 single of Govinda by Kula Shaker, Kula Shaka. I don't really know how to pronounce the name. I got this because the B-side of this single has a song called Go Kula, which is not available to buy on iTunes, it's not on Apple Music, and it's not on Spotify. So the only way I could listen to it was either on single or on YouTube. Um, and I suppose CD is out there. Because also Go Kula is not on the album of Govinda, I guess, is the album. But yeah, which is really, really weird. Um, but basically, Gokula has a sample of George Harrison skiing from his album Wonderwall Music, and it's sampled in such a cool way. Um, basically, it's pitched a bit higher, and they just make it into like this rock fest, and they add vocals on it. So it's just, it's just a really like awesome like rock song. That's just, it's really fun. It makes it's very, it's quite danceable. It's just a headbanger. It's just, it's really good times. And I know George Harrison gave his blessing for this sample. So if you haven't listened to it, please check it out. Go Cooler, um, by Cooler Shaker. The rest of the singles good. Like Govinda, it's like a very Indian inspired kind of s music. Um, Temple of Everlasting Light was nice, and Govinda I didn't like as much, but overall a really nice little single to have, probably not very common, but I would recommend it. This however I got from Disney Music Emporium, which was a website I never knew existed, and it is the Camp Rock official soundtrack. Um, so. I do love my Jonas Brothers, and my favourite song by the Jonas Brothers is actually a song called Play My Music, which is from the film Camp Rock. And it was available on, the song is available on vinyl as part of the Jonas Vinyl Club, which is a big um, deluxe subscription where you have to pay like £50 a month to get every single um, item in their entire discography, but I don't want to subscribe to the service, I prefer buying records individually. And I thought, oh, there's no way I'll ever be able to get it. It's just, I'm not, I can't subscribe to this. So how am I ever going to get this single? Because um, they will never sell it individually. And then someone told me on Twitter, well, Camp Rock is now available on vinyl, like the whole soundtrack. And I was like, oh my God. And I found it on Disney Music Emporium, which is the original place where this record was pressed. Um, and I ordered it and a few weeks later it came. And this album is amazing. It's it comes in red. The the vinyl is red. And I didn't realise how much I loved this soundtrack. Obviously, I used to listen to it ten odd years ago. But every song is a bop. So I really really enjoyed it. And it's just it's nostalgic. It's fun. And some of the music is actually really listenable to even in 2020. So yeah, definitely recommend playing my music. find you and our time is here so really great and I'm really really happy if they ever bring out High School Musical 3 on vinyl I will lose it because it's it's just got the best songs it's just amazing a few more albums I both got these from Amazon and it's Keen Hopes and Fears and Coldplay X and Y um, so mainly, I mainly got Hopes and Fears because this has the song Somewhere Only We Know on it and Somewhere Only We Know was the first song I ever fell in love with. I used to listen to it when I was five, like all the time because it used to be on SingStar Pop World and my dad played it a lot. So it was the first, my first ever favourite song I guess. So it means a lot to me. The rest of the album I didn't really enjoy but I love that I've got one of my favourite songs ever to exist now on vinyl whereas with x and y um the title track x and y i think is severely underrated and it's one of the most beautiful songs i've ever heard uh, it's either my favorite song or my second favorite <laughs> I didn't know what to expect from the rest of the album except for like a new Fix You and Talk was going to be on this album but I was pleasantly surprised. 
definitely need to listen to it again but I really really enjoyed this album also I love that instead of the album having an A side and a B side you because it's a double vinyl it's got X side and Y side so the first vinyl disc has X1 and X2 then the second disc is Y1, Y2. I just thought it was a nice touch. That is all the records I got recently. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.